What's going on everybody, it's Monkey Farm, and it's time for another Create Mod tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to use a schematic cannon. This is a very useful tool. Uh, I have used this a couple times in my live stream survival world, and uh, it has come in very handy. So it's, uh, it's not as cheaty as you might think, but uh, basically what it does, it allows you to save a schematic of something that you select in the world, like a, a certain area. It's kind of like world edit, where you copy and paste something. Uh, the difference is obviously, is you have to have the blocks that you need to build with. Uh, so it's not going to build it for your free, uh, you basically have to provide the blocks to it, uh, but it does allow you to select something, save a schematic of it, and rebuild it somewhere else on the map. So I'm gonna show you a few examples, actually, of how it might be useful. Of course, uh, an example we're gonna show you, we're just gonna copy and paste a house, I'm gonna show you how it works and everything, uh, but I wanted to show you a couple other examples of how I've used it that came in really handy when I needed it. The first example of uh, here is a mob spawner that I built in the test world, but this is what I built in my survival world with the uh, with the blender down there. Uh, but when I was building the mob pads, the spawning pads, I had I think four or five in my survival world, and I had built two of them. And I'm like, hey, this is getting a little uh, tedious. All I want to do is copy and paste basically these floors. Uh, so I made a schematic and I made a couple extra floors and all I had to do is provide the blocks. So that was pretty easy. Um, that is one example. I want to show you a few things that you can't do just so you know. Um, FYI, when I was testing out my uh, mobile quarry or expandable quarry, whatever the, the name of it is, uh, what did I have done? I had copied this whole machine and wanted to move it... Uh, and use it in a different part of my map. Uh, a few, so a few things that don't actually copy, um, things that aren't really like solid attached blocks. The example is this, these belts won't copy. Uh, basically what happened is I ended up, when I pasted it and rebuilt it, um, the belts were just floating. So it won't, it won't like automatically construct things that you have to attach to different items. Like you have to attach the belts to these shafts, right? And uh, it won't do things like that, but everything else did actually copy over. So you can copy machines. Um, you'll just have to rebuild some of it. Like you'll have to put some of the shafts uh, in place and you know things like that but in general yes you can use it for different machines and things like that just certain things like these belts and and you know stuff like that won't always work completely but anyway let me show you how it works real quick all right so the things you're going to need to get started you need a schematic table you need a schematic cannon you need to put a chest next to it these all don't have to be next to each other the chest just needs to be next to the schematic cannon and uh, then you need your schematic and quill. So what you need to do to select whatever you want to copy is you go, let's say I'm going to click on this ground piece right here, and I want to come over here and click up on this roof or something. Okay, now what you can see is we have this like imaginary box with these white lines. Whenever you uh, point at the, you know, point at the side of the selection, uh, it'll turn white and white and clear striped. Um, but as you can see, we messed up a little bit. We didn't select the whole house. So what I need to do is hold down control or command if you use Mac, I guess. I don't know. Can you even play Minecraft on a Mac? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so anyway, control or command. And then you mouse wheel up or down to change the edge of the wall that you are pointed at. So we're pointed at this edge, so I'm able to move this forward or backwards. Uh, this edge, I need to move backwards two blocks. Uh, the roof, I need to, actually the roof looks fine. Uh, yep, everything is selected fine there. Uh, let's move this edge one block forward. Yeah, that one's good. And then we'll move this one forward as well. So all we have selected is the house and hopefully the ground level of blocks that the house is on. I wanted to select that too. Uh, just so in case you know, you're know you selecting uh, some weird things that are placed on the ground, uh, you want 
you want them to place correctly and everything. So anyway, uh, then for the third right click, once you have everything properly selected, you right click again and it's gonna ask you to save it. So let's call this tutorial and we'll click save. All right, so that schematic uh, is done. You only need one, you can reuse this. Um, so I could come over here and save another schematic over here. Uh, I don't think it's going to save the villager too, <laughs> just just in case. I haven't tried that one. But anyway, um, to come over here uh, and get your schematic out, so what you need to do is take an empty schematic, put it in here, then come up to the schematic table and see these are all the schematics that I've saved. Uh, like I have a couple test ones, a bad one. Um, let's see, the floor slab is what I... Oh, here's my mobile miner that I mentioned I, uh, I saved. Uh, so then let's see, tutorial is what I uh, selected, right? So we've selected tutorial up here and we wanna click checkbox and that's gonna give us the schematic uh, for the tutorial thing that we just saved, that schematic. So let's say we wanted to move it right over here, right? Uh, as you can see, there's like a little outline of a box. Now I'm going to right click that and bam. And since I'm in creative mode, uh, this is actually going to copy the whole thing. Um, but I'm going to show you something's a little messed up visually. But uh, let's say we want to move this down and forward and over a block because uh, I didn't place it correctly. So to move this, you need to hold uh control and as you can see the edges kind of change color a little bit and you scroll wheel again as you can see I moved that forward a block um, mouse wheel one again moved it over this way a block now to change the type of movement rather than forward and backwards if you hold the left alt and scroll you can change your your editing you know mode so I was using X and Z, moving along the X and Z axis. Now I wanna move along the Y axis. So I'm gonna hold control again and push, uh, nope, I pushed up, that raised it. So I'm gonna lower it back down and then I'm gonna lower it one more block. So now it's at ground level. Now let's say I wanted the front door on this side of the walkway, not over here. So we are going to left alt again and we're going to rotate. So once we selected rotate, let's hold left control again and mouse wheel. Let's see which direction. Oh, that was the wrong direction. So I'm going to mouse wheel down to turn it counterclockwise. And that is how I want it right there. And actually, let's move it even closer. Let's move it that way and let's move it that way right up along the edge of the walkway. Oh, actually, we are moving. We selected the gray block, so that actually won't work. Um, so if you don't want to do that, I guess only select ground level. Don't select the actual ground because um, I forgot I had selected the gray concrete. So anyway, let's say uh, this is how we want everything to go. We can uh, flip it also in case we want to like flip the blocks from right to left, you know, uh, mirror, so to speak. Um, let's say everything is good. We're going to hold left alt and scroll over to print. And then I'm going to right click that and bam. So since we're in creative mode, um, that just worked immediately. But if we were in survival mode, now we're in survival mode. Uh, let me get the blocks. I need to put the blocks. I need to put those blocks into this chest first. All right, we're back. Um, so now if we wanted to actually place this in survival, what we need to do, we need to be in survival, obviously. Um, and we need to put all the items in a chest. Now, I think I have gotten all the items. We had some glass panes, some oak planks, um, a bed, some torches, so, uh, and stripped oak logs. So make sure, you know, make sure you're really prepared to provide all the blocks that you need if you're doing this in survival, uh, because obviously, you know, if you don't have the items, the building can't complete and the thing is just going to like half build. And if it's ready to use, say, like the torches or the door or something and you don't have the door in the chest, you're going to have a half built house. So anyway, um, the other thing you need to do is you need to have. Uh, well, actually, let's place the schematic first. Um, I need to come over here. 
I need to put an empty schematic in the schematic table. I'm going to scroll down to, what did we call it? Tutorial, I think. Yep. Okay, so now we have a schematic of that. And uh, we need to come over here. Let's say right click right there. Uh, I already taught you how to move it around. So let's say that everything is perfect. Uh, here's the tricky part. With an empty hand, <laughs> with an empty hand, come into, come into the schematic hand and don't right click your schematic again because what will happen is it will replace sometimes your schematic. Like, uh, cause whatever control you're doing with the schematic, it's going to start using that control. You know what I mean? You, you follow me. Anyway, you got to put the schematic up here. You need to put some gunpowder in here. Uh, it only takes like five, I think. And there are a handful of different ways you can, you can place these things. Like you can place it without air, uh, for example, don't replace solid blocks. Uh, so let's say you place this on land or on something that's already built and you don't want the schematic to replace those items. You just want to add any air or you want to add any items from your schematic where there's empty air in the real world. You can select this one right now. It basically has replace solid with solid, replace solid with any, and then, uh, protect tile entities. So, Tile entities, uh, I'm trying to think of an example of that. Uh, yeah, it's not going to replace, uh, like, let's say you had a chest there. It's not going to accidentally replace your chest of inventory with all your diamonds in it. And uh, you then you cry and stop playing the game, right? <laughs> it's no, so anyway, all those settings exist. You can mess around with those. Um, so we've got our schematic in there. Let's go ahead and click place or play. Uh, it's going to, you know, say we're ready to go. And then bam, we'll click play and all these items should start uh, missing block. Okay, light gray concrete. Oh, that's the one block that I forgot. So let's get back into creative mode. So see how I, uh, I mentioned that your, your build can be interrupted if you don't have all the blocks in there. All right, bam, check it out. It is, uh, it is placing the concrete first. So it's building ground up. So if you don't have the ground blocks, now I haven't tested copying grass. I don't know if it's gonna require grass, so you'll need silk touch to put grass or uh, if it will accept dirt. I haven't tested that out. That might be something good for you guys to test out just for fun. Uh, if you are copying the ground or um, another way to do that would be to not select the ground level if you don't have those blocks. But anyway, as you can see, it is placing everything one block at a time. And it does work pretty far away too. Uh, when I was building the floor of my survival house, um, it shot those blocks, I don't know, it was maybe a hundred blocks away. I, I don't know what the exact limit is, but as you can see, the bed got placed, the different, you know, the door got placed. So that's cool. We've got torches and everything. And then of course, we're going to make sure it copies and pastes the stairs in the right direction. Um, if I remember years and years ago, there were some problems with uh, some world edit when you were trying to do stuff like this, where items like this wouldn't be pointed the correct direction or something like that. So anyway, it looks like everything is working pretty smoothly. So that's kind of nice. Looks like is pretty well built and it's almost done. So as you can see, that is how you do it both in creative mode and survival. Uh, it will build on its own without requiring the blocks in creative mode, but it will uh, require the blocks in a chest next to it if you put it in, in, in the schematic cannon in uh, survival. So bam, it looks like it's done. Pretty nice. Let's check everything out. Make sure everything's working, pointed the correct direction. Looks nice to me. So anyway, that is how you use the schematic cannon. Hope you guys like it and uh, make sure you thumb up the video if you did and subscribe if you want to see more videos and we'll see you all next time.